Hello, my creative friend. I want to make a quick little video today to talk about uh, artificial intelligence, the AI uh, revolution that we're uh, just now beginning to see the full implication of. <laughs> um, not even the full implication of it. We're just sort of in being introduced to it for uh, really on a, on a practical scale for the first time with the introduction of chat GBT uh, and people testing out the idea of AI writing partners and all this sort of thing. Um, the irony of all of this is that when I first built Fast Screenplay, the actual end goal, which I didn't tell anybody about, I told a select few people back in the day, but uh, the big goal was that I wanted to build an AI writing partner, um, something that could some, something that could help writers go through uh, the creative process and and really just extract the maximum uh, creative value from you. <laughs> um, I don't perceive uh, artificial intelligence to be ultimately uh, a huge threat. I think it's going to become something of a tool. Uh, the question is, uh, how, what does that look like? Is, art, is AI going to take away all the creative writing jobs out there? Are, are producers and studios just simply going to turn to AI uh, to just create the stories and generate the scripts and 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 pretty much cut writers out of the job the, the answer is frankly yes <laughs> absolutely that's going to happen um the the reality is uh, this technology is going to be pretty exceptional if not immediately then certainly within the next couple of years uh, it gets better and better as it goes along uh so should writers be scared of this um well yes if you're a lazy writer honestly if you're a writer who uh, is looking for the shortcut or the quick way uh to superstardom and all that sort of thing um yeah i think i, I think there is some danger there because what i think ai uh will do is uh eliminate the need for the lesser caliber writers in the world. If there are uh, people who don't have skills, or don't have uh, an, an understanding of story, can't bring unique creativity and originality to the game, then ultimately, why wouldn't someone just go on to uh, an AI service? There, there will eventually be paid services that are specifically focused on storytelling and screenwriting and, and, and uh, building out narratives and all that kind of thing. Um, <laughs> When that happens, why wouldn't a producer or production company just say, well, this is what I want. I want something like this. <laughs> Let's go out and, and create it. And yeah, that will absolutely cut out uh, the need for a lot of screenwriters out there. The, the reality, however, is, and the reason that I don't ultimately believe that if you are serious about this or if this is something that you actually want to do, right, be creative, write movies, uh, I, I don't think it's ultimately something to be terribly worried about for the same reason that I have always contended that there is no competition in screenwriting. At the end of the day, if the AI <laughs> creates an extraordinary story, well, that's fantastic. That doesn't mean that we can't also make the movie of your unique original creation. The, the question is going to be, is your unique original creation going to be as engaging and compelling and profound and moving and meaningful and, and all the other things that we watch movies for as that AI, uh, that AI uh, creation. And the reality is, uh, if you develop your skill set and you get really good at it and you become a power storyteller and a power writer, then, then ultimately, while the AI might be able to do some of the things that you can do, it, it won't be able to do them in the way that you do them, just as no other writer will write the same thing that you end up writing. So, Really, the solution is to develop your own skill set. The, the solution is to get really good at this creative endeavor so that you're not out-competed by an AI. Look, at the end of the day, artificial intelligence is a language learning model. Uh, it's, a, it's a computer that is taking huge data sets and, and basically uh, figuring out what the predictive result would be from a set of inputs. So when you when you ask it a question, you say, I want to write something like this or create a scene involving these kinds of elements and, and it goes out and creates it. It's using its data source to generate the the request that you've given it. So the stories that AI will create or generate are always going to be based upon the existing data set that it has been taught with, that it has been informed by. Now that will evolve and grow and get better and eventually it might get to the point where it can learn from itself and, and, and start to anticipate the things that you like and, and, and the audiences are interested in and get better and better at storytelling. 
the one thing that it won't be able to do is is tell human stories. It won't be able to create stories from its own actual experience. It'll be creating stories from uh, its processing and interpretation and prediction models of the data sets that it, it has been fed or it has learned or it has developed or it has evolved along the way. At some point, it will get really good at telling those stories, but they still won't be based on that human experience. And this is the one thing that human beings, you, me, creative writers around the world, will continue to have. We will continue to have the ability to tell our own stories. If you harness and, 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 and master the ability to take the, the, the events of your lives or uh, the nuances of the relationships that you've encountered and, and you decipher and, and, and understand meaning and insight and, and glean uh, importance and, and, and tools. And if you, if you extract value from your life and learn how to shape that into a story experience, that audiences will be able to see and 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 viscerally connect with and experience the way that we do in a story you will have the ability to generate original content and the ability to generate original and compelling and powerful and moving and engaging content is the thing that audiences want that's what that's why we go to the movies. That's why we watch movies. That's why we care about stories because they reflect and help us understand the human experience. If, if a character is pursuing some goal and they're, they're facing some obstacle, you're sitting there wondering if they're, are, are they going to make it? Are they going to get there? If the stakes are high enough, you really care. I hope you get there. And whether they do or whether they don't, the, the ability to tell that story and take the audience through that experience, whether they do or they don't, is it is the takeaway. It is the, it's experiential. It's something that you immerse into. And, and what writers and creative writers in particular are, are, are tasked with, the job that we have is to, to learn how to take our dreams and our past and our history and weave all of that into something that delivers that experience for, for the audience just because a computer algorithm could eventually simulate that or even create something unique or interesting or fascinating um, doesn't, doesn't take away or remove your ability to do that, your ability to develop that skill set, your ability to be able to harness the power of your own creative imagination to move audiences. And so I, I don't think the worry is from... AI. I don't think the. I don't think this is something. I don't think this is an existential crisis that we're facing. I think. Uh, I, I think AI is going to end up being more of a partner for us than a competitor for us. There's no real benefit to the AI outdoing us or taking away all of our innate creativity. And 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 even if that is, even if there is a path, there will certainly be an interest in AI created movies. And there will certainly be an interest in uh, studios or production companies uh, wanting to save money or, or uh, expand creativity. Just they can't find writers who could create something that fits their idea of what they want to make. So they go to an AI that will certainly happen. And I think that will happen, uh, as a fad, perhaps initially, eventually as an actual tool and the ability to, to do more and express more. Uh, but I don't think that takes over and replaces and supplants your originality. If you have an insight or a perspective or something that you want to share with the world, some ideas that you have, getting that out there involves create, turning that into a story, creating that story, putting it out there. You can do that. You should do that. You should develop the skills to be able to do that. That that no one can take that away from you. I, it has long been my contention. You've probably heard me say this before, but every single one of us has a unique window on our world. You've been born in a different space and uh, time than any other human being that exists. Uh, you have your own unique DNA. You have a, a lifetime of experiences that have shaped your 
brain chemistry, your interpretation of the world around you, the relationships in your in your life, the, 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 the chronology of the relationship in your life. You see the world the way no one else will ever see it. It gives you dreams and imagination and perspective and insight that literally no one else can or will ever have. Harness that, turn that into stories, turn that into creative writing, turn that into your voice, your stamp that you put out there on the world. And, and don't be afraid that somebody is going to come along and, and hire a chatbot or, or, or full-fledged AI or robots in the future or whatever to, to supplant you or take that away. Just, just because that can do that doesn't, doesn't remove your ability to do that. So, um, you know, I, I believe in some ways that... Uh, what I do, what I teach, how I help writers through this process and help them develop these skills and encourage them and 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 go all the way with that. I, I believe that's more important and more more urgent and necessary and powerful today than ever before. So if, if this is something that you would like to, you know, explore or pursue, by all means, go to fastscreenplay.com, get it, become a part of uh, what we're doing and uh, what we're trying to build. Uh, but whatever you do, whether you join me, whether you go do it on your own, Use the tools that are available to us today. Use the extraordinary, unprecedented, unlimited opportunity that is available to us today to, to, to put your mark on the world, to tell the stories that you want to tell, to be creative in the way that is uniquely you. And, and keep taking action. Keep moving forward. Develop the skills. You will, uh, you will, if you start today and you actually develop these skills, you will get good enough soon enough that it becomes irrelevant and a producer looking at should i hire a this writer you or should i push this button over here to do this uh, ai version of a story if your story is that compelling that interesting they're going to pick you uh, but you have to have that skill set and you have to actually follow through to do that so uh anyway these are some thoughts and some musings initially here on uh, artificial intelligence i'm sure if you have any questions or whatever pop them in the comments below if you have uh difference of opinion feedback whatever <laughs> drop it down there uh maybe i'll make some more videos as follow up to this and and, and start putting out some uh some short form videos like this again uh on a more regular basis so anyway thank you for watching and uh keep on writing talk to you soon